10 million Americans have osteoporosis, 44 wow. million with low bone density, wow. one in two women and up to one in four men are gonna break a bone in their lifetime due to osteoporosis. And then for the wow. women, low bone low bone density is, is greater than that of heart attack, stroke and breast cancer combined. I encourage people, get your baseline earlier, when you're 30, when you're 40, that way you have an objective measure uh. from which to monitor future changes and you're not surprised with this number later on in life because you may not actually have reached peak bone mass in your younger years. So 90% of your bone mass is put on by the time you turn age 18. And then by the time you turn 30, the remaining 10% approximately fills in. So if when you were younger, you had poor diet nutrition, you led a sedentary lifestyle, you took certain medications like glucocorticoids or prednisone, uh, or uh, you smoked or drank excessively, all of those things could have prevented you from reaching peak bone mass and starting with what I call the full bucket. And oftentimes people didn't achieve peak bone mass and then they have contributors to bone loss along the way. Osteoporosis, it, it literally means porous bone. And it's a condition that's characterized by either not enough bone formation, excessive bone loss, or it's a combination of the two of those things. And in osteoporosis, both your bone density and your bone quality are reduced and that's gonna increase the risk of fracture. One of, one of the first things is you have to look at your digestive health and your gut health too. Um, because I always tell people to imagine their body and their bones as being like plants. In order to grow, you need nutrients in the right conditions, right? So many people focus so much on the nutrients, the salads, the smoothies, the supplements, that they're not considering the soil. I mean, you can eat healthy all day, right? But if you're not moving, and you're not providing that stimulus that your body and your bones need, your bones aren't gonna become stronger and it's gonna be really hard to maintain them also. Same thing with your muscles. There's a really tight connection between muscle and bone too. And in order to, to build stronger bones, you have to have two different types of stimuli. You need muscle pulling on bone. So you need this, this mechanical signal that sends a chemical signal to tell those bones to become stronger. And then you need impact. And the most effective interventions are going to combine the two of those things because of the way this all works i mean you know my mother is a good example uh, god bless her but she's on like 20 pills a day and i'm like and it's because you can really never get off of them like you said i mean whether this is for your heart this is for your bones this is this and it's just, it's just this this giant mass of stuff that she takes every day and it just it breaks my heart because this is what she's been told by the doctors to do and it just really it, it ensures that you're on this for the rest of your life. And, you know, she may not know about some of the more kind of the easier fix, not easier necessarily, but the more natural fixes that if that would allow you to get, get you know, probably better results just by, like you said, moving and eating. Yeah, I mean, those, those are some of the lowest hanging fruit things that we can do. Uh, we can do some exercise, you know, get the get the digestive system uh, in, in right the right order and then get the right nutrients in the right amount.